This is a video to explain the RD lock button, or in other words, the rear differential lock button that's available on many cars. It's a switch that allows us to lock the rear wheels together when the car is stuck or in a tricky situation and we're trying to self-recover in an off-road uh, scenario. So in this video, I'll explain the rear differential lock in detail and show you a video of how I've used it in a tricky situation where my car was stuck and I used it for self-recovery. So when you're driving off-road, you would typically put the car in 4x4 mode or engage the 4x4 gear. However, there are situations where you are stuck. Even though you've engaged the 4x4 gear, the car is still not moving. And as you see in the video, you will find one wheel is spinning on one side and the other wheel is stuck. Now, you might think something is wrong with the car and the 4x4 system is not working. However, that's because the differential system still allows different tire to spin so the tire with the traction will not spin the tire with no traction will continue to spin and this is where we use the rear differential lock to then engage it and engage both tires so that the tire with the traction will start spinning to get the car out so let's see how that will work in the video put the car in neutral uh, make sure that you're in four LLC and then you engage the deflect. Okay, once you press this, wait for the rear deflect to engage right here. Once it's engaged, now we can try to get out. And what I'm going to do is, uh, in my car, I can enable the front traction control back on. I've got this extra feature in my car due to the skill switch, which allows me to turn on the traction control. This allows us to turn the traction control back on. Not all cars allow you to re-engage the traction control back on when the rear diff is engaged. This is an extra feature that I've added onto my Pajero. Details of this kit are in the description below that allow me to re-enable traction. So what it does is now we've got a mechanical lock on the rear wheels with a rear differential lock. And I'm using traction control to lock the spinning uh, wheels on the front of the car uh, so that it acts like an e-locker on the front then. Let me just put my seatbelt on for a second. Oh, it's impossible now. Now that I've enabled the front traction control, it also gives me front diff simulator. So you can see now the car is moving. There you go. This is what the diff lock is useful for, is to get out of these tricky situations. Now that we're out of it, we can just make our way out. That's it. It's my buddy's car. And then you stop, put the car back in neutral, and turn off your diff lock. And voila, that's it. That's how you can use the diff lock for uh, self-recoveries 